What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Brent Taylor. Oh, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's February. We got Valentine's Day coming up. Some of you ladies is getting hearts tattooed into your, you know what I'm saying, y'all neck down there, down there for Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? Some people want to go, some people want to go ski ball down there. We can, but then some of you grown ladies, you know what I'm saying, on the landscape. Y'all like to landscape. And I've been seeing it, a lot of hearts. But that ain't really what's in your soul. Be for real for Valentine's Day this year, ladies. Get you a wolf down there. Get you a wolf etched in there. Or or bat. Or you, you know what I'm saying? Get you a get get a bear. Get a bear. Arr, some of y'all is bears. Some of y'all is bears. Grizzly bears. Some of y'all need to just have a straight up grizzly bear down there. And you can just Okay, I see what you did. I see what you did there. Britney Spears said her sister, Jamie Lynn, is a uh, scum, filthy scum. Apparently, Jamie, Jamie Lynn Spears has been making her rounds around. She has a book out. She has a, you know, just putting out all kind of information about her family and Britney Spears. I feel her on that. That is kind of jacked up, though. That's supposed to be your sister or something like that. Like, make your own, make your own bullshit. Make your own trash. How come you can't make your own, make your own news? You got a heartbeat? You got a little hot coochie running around there? You could, you know how much bullshit you could do? You just be Britney Spears' sister. And, oh, it's okay. I'm Britney Spears' sister. Who's that bitch out there with her ass up? That's Britney Spears' sister. Who that bitch that just tossed up everybody real quick? That's Britney Spears' sister. Who that bitch that just jacked everybody at the bar, stole all the bread, took the bottles, just ran out, and then showed her titties again? That's Britney Spears, too. That's her sister. Oh, okay. She could go to jail and be like, you know what I'm saying, get hella respect. She could go straight to jail, and it'd be cool as fuck. Who is that? Oh, that's Britney Spears' sister. Oh, what's up, girl? What's up? You know, she could get a tattoo on her face, get all of them, like, get the tattoos all around, the clown tattoos when they're just all around here. Bah, 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 bah. Call her Jamie Shiesty. She be out there in these streets like she's supposed to. Do. But no, she want to get her body off on Britney. Oh, I feel Britney on that. Bitch, you scum for that. You out for that. Fat Joe's boots. Um, bruh. I don't know why. I get it, this the Yeezys. But when Fat Joe wears them, it's the feezies. I mean, he literally looks like a like a Volkswagen, like the Volkswagen van right now. He looks like the van again, them long ass van again, them long ass Volkswagen vans. Nigga, you too big for that to be wearing big ass shoes and at the same time having tight ass jeans. Sir, when you hella big like that as a big ass dude, do yourself a favor. Don't wear skinny skinny jeans because it's gonna look like you wearing leggings. You know what I'm saying? And you fat as fuck. So you probably had to get the biggest ones that they got. Like, you probably thought you was doing a little something like, oh, let me get the triple XL. Let me get the, yeah, I'm a big dude. I'm a big dude. But they still skinny jeans. And you fat as fuck. So fat spill. You know what I'm saying? Like, fat fat is like like a table. It spill. Psh, it go there. And it go this way. So if you got on jeans, you, you know what I'm saying? Big niggas, back in the day, Fat Joe was, Fat Joe wore fat clothes. It fit. We had baggy clothes. So all your clothes is baggy on a fat nigga. You like a Christmas tree. But now, you look like the letter B, nigga. You like a, the capital letter B. I don't know why. I don't know what inspired him to do this at all. Um, you look uh, buffalo sexual. <laughs> you look like a fancy buffalo, nigga. Uh, I don't know what's up with that, Fat Joe. Kill that outfit, B. Kill that outfit. Uh, Brandy was... Brandy... Oh! Brandy was singing at the last football game for the Rams and the 49ers recently. Brandy! You remember Brandy? Mo to the... Eat to the... And she brought her big-ass head to the football game. Now, I'm not gonna lie. She basically just sung the, you know, the national anthem. Brandy... Get your big head ass in there. Brandy's head looked like a football itself. Brandy's head took up the whole screen. And I got a big ass screen. 
Brandy's head is automatically on widescreen. Brandy's head looks like um, a, a can of tuna <laughs> on the neck. <laughs> Uh, Rihanna just got with, um, she got pregnant by ASAP. Shout out to ASAP. Ain't nothing no wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Shout out to ASAP. There's a lot of hearts broke right now, Rihanna. Just, I'm just putting that out there. Not, you know what I'm saying? Not just me. <laughs> Not me. But I'm saying there's a lot, there's a lot of dudes out there. Breezy hurt. Breezy hurt. Breezy. Breezy is, I'm trying, I'm trying to tell you, I, that nigga done moonwalked it, <laughs> threw some shit on the wall and everything. Drake cried. You know Drake cried. Drake been crying all week. He probably got a, a tattoo of some teardrops in his, in his, in his fade right now. Shout out to ASAP though. Shout out to ASAP. This nigga, no wonder why he's just been smiling lately. Just, you know, he ain't smiled this hard since, since Trump freed him from Europe. He came with a straight face, came right back to New York and just, oh boy, congratulations, brother. I don't think I've ever told, I didn't even tell my brother congratulations when when he, <laughs> when he was having a baby. Congratulations, they said, dead ass, man, dead ass, man, salute, man. <sighs> a billionaire, you about to have a billionaire baby. That means you don't have to do, you got to have a little ASAP, wow, ASAP Rihanna. This ASAP Rihanna. Wow, ASAP Riri. Wow, that's cold, man. You might have a little ASAP baby. And uh, just a billionaire. That's crazy. I ain't never. I mean, when you, because you know what you really think about? I done got a girl pregnant before. She wasn't a billionaire. Usually when we get a girl pregnant, we be nervous. We be nervous as fuck. Oh, shit. Damn. Fuck. You could be fine. You could be fine as fuck. Niggas will be nervous. Fuck, my life is over. What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get, I ain't gonna get no more bitches. I'm gonna have to get a job. Now, I already got a job. I gotta get a better job. I gotta get a better job. Cause this ain't about me no more. It's about the bait. Shit. Let her be a billionaire? Do you know what we was settling for? For a billionaire? Niggas was trying to fuck Oprah. Niggas was really stomped down. Looking they bad bitches in the face and was like, I'll leave you right now for Oprah, bitch. That's Oprah, though. She a billionaire. But Rihanna? Rihanna is Rihanna. But Oprah money, fam. Think about that. And she let ASAP Rocky heat that stove up, you know? So <laughs> congratulations, man. Congratulations. <sighs> okay. Kanye West. Deny saying that um, that he was in these streets saying Pete Davis got the monster. He denies it. He's like, I didn't say that. I didn't say that, fam. I didn't say that. I didn't say he got that. I said he got syphilis. I said he got herpes. Yo, I said this nigga got mad athlete's feet, son. <laughs> but I didn't say he had that. I didn't say he had that, though. You know? That would be lying. <laughs> Yo, Kanye bucket, man. All I know, man, I don't know if he, you know, I know he did make that song. Um, the song that he got out right now when he talking about uh, it, it, somebody wanted to, to, I just heard the song. I'm sitting here doing this all the time. I'm, you know, I'm high. I'm not even paying attention. So I'm vibing, as they say. I'm vibing, having a good time. And then he say, I want to beat Pete Davis's ass. And then like, you know, that's, and I think that's everybody that heard that song. Like, that's that's all we know. That's the hook. I want to beat Pete Davidson's ass just so I can beat Pete Davidson's ass. It got, that's a catchy little hook. Cold part, I don't... We don't really think you can do it, though, man. We don't really think you can beat Pete Davidson's ass, Kanye. I'm going to be honest, man. Maybe, like, like first Kanye when you was... You know, through the wire, through the... Through the through the windshield, Kanye, you know, when you when you was rapping with the with the face stuck down. Even when you had the polo shirts, I think, you know what I'm saying, that Kanye had a chance, had a better chance. I don't know if you I don't know if you was with 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 the with the with the business like that. 
But uh, he probably had a better chance. But this Kanye, this Kanye, uh, Kanye the Wizard, which Kanye? Nah, nah, he, this nigga took your bitch. He took your wife, bro. You got like, like he's like literally doing fun shit. All the fun shit that you used to do, B. You feel what I'm saying? If you could beat his ass, if you could do that, you would have, you know what I'm saying? You would have been dead tapped out. I don't see that coming. I think, yeah, I think low-key this nigga will lurk over you like Lurch from the Adams Family, yo. <laughs> Pete Davidson, a big, tall, spooky white boy, yo. <laughs> you big, big, tall, spooky dude, yo. Like, he be at the games. He pop up everywhere. And, uh, yo, man, shout out to Pete Davidson. That's another one, man. Salute. Salute, yo. Uh, you a wild boy. You a wild boy. The Rams. The Rams are going to the Super Bowl. Shout out to the Super Bowl in L.A., in Eaglewood, yo. Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick. Kendrick Lamar. Um, Monet. Monet from Power going to be there. She going to be performing at halftime. Shout out to Mary J. Blige. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be It's gonna be cracking. It's going to be cracking. The Rams and the Bengals. Um, I'm a big Rams fan, as everybody knows, uh, that knows me. Uh, I think the Rams, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put it on them, yeah. We're going to put it on the Bengals. But shout out to everybody in Cincinnati. Shout out to the Bengals fans. Um, when y'all lose, I, I think they eat chili or some shit, like some kind of onion chili or something they do in Cincinnati or something, um, like some Houday chili. I think y'all can eat that, you know what I'm saying, and feel good about yourselves. Um, nah, y'all ain't beating the Rams. We got... We got a squad. We got a whole squad, yo. Our whole squad is our whole squad is ready. We, you know, we got um, we got Odell Beckham who wears purple hair to the game. What type of nigga wears purple hair to the game and play football, fam? And you know it's purple. He don't have to take his helmet off. You can see it like he'll wear a helmet and then he come down like that, like a clown. And we'll get touchdowns. Uh, uh, clown with the touchdown. You know, you got to be hard to have purple hair, fam. To sit there in a chair and be like, yo. And they be like, Odie, OBJ, <laughs> what you need today, son? Yo, fade me up. Give me my, fade me up today, fam. Yo, yeah, let me get the, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, fade it on the sides, you know, get the mohawk cracking, you know. You know, oh, 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 okay, that look nice. That look nice. That look, you know, to show you the mirror when you're done at the end. They be like, how oh, you like, that look nice. I got one more thing. Oh, what you need, my boy? What you need? Uh, can you make it fuchsia? Can you hit that? I want it. Nigga, I want it. Unicorn pink. Nigga, I want it. My little pony. Nigga, can you give me that uh, rainbow sparkle? Shout out to... Can you give me sherbet? And then go out the next day. And get touchdown, touchdown, catch, 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 touchdown. Arrgh. You gotta be a gangster for that. You gotta be hard for that. That's 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 clowning, man. That's clowning. Most people, until actual clowns, have to put on a wig to clown that hard. That's the, literally the definition of clowning. He would have to have floppy shoes on, floppy cleats. That's the next thing this nigga might do. OBJ might come out next year for the Rams with floppy cleats just to show why that he can clown. Hey, it's your boy Brent Taylor, man. Thanks for sitting down and uh, kicking in with your boy, man. Uh, it's wild news. Peace.